Deep Agent just got a massive update, and now it's on a whole new level. You tell it what you want done, and it goes out on the web, finds the exact tools it needs, learns how to use them in real time, and finishes the job. No setup, no coding, nothing. This new upgrade lets it connect to any service, pull the right data, handle logins, and complete tasks like it's been doing it for years. It's not just smarter, it's fully independent now, and the stuff it can pull off is honestly next level. That's why the Twitter demo was more than a novelty. So someone asked Deep Agent to take over their Twitter for a bit, and not just to tweet anything random. They specifically wanted tweets that sounded like Bindu Reddy, the CEO of Abacus. So here's what Deep Agent did. It first connected to Twitter using something called an MCP server. The user handed over their Twitter API keys, and Deep Agent got to work. It analyzed Bindu's last 10 tweets to understand her tone, topics, and posting style. Then it wrote three totally original tweets, one about AI coding assistance, another predicting the return of remote work in 2025, and one spicy hot take about people panicking over AI. And yes, Deep Agent posted them live on its own. Next came the Mind Map Marathon. The search phase fanned out across TechCrunch, IBM Insights, Analytics, Vidya, Forbes, and a Department of Defense white paper, filtering results published after January 2024, so the outline reflects GPT 4.0's 128,000 token context, Gemini 2's massive image text code fusion, and Claude 3.5's self-healing code interpreter. For Transformers, it captured the move towards sparse activations that keep only the top 75% of neurons hot, saving up to 40% compute. It flagged parameter-efficient fine-tuning where a Granite 3.3B model with LoRa adapters can outperform a 70B giant on domain tasks while slicing 10 times off your bill. The energy efficiency section calls out WaveSpeed AI's 400 gigaflop per watt accelerator demoed at Beyond Expo 2025, and a quick blurb explains how token shift attention cuts memory overhead by 14% on average. Uh, once Deep Agent finished building the full outline, around 200 sections covering everything from AI basics to the newest breakthroughs, it turned that into an interactive mind map. It converted the text into a web page you could open in your browser, scroll through, and zoom in or out easily on any device. The file was super lightweight, so it loaded fast, and Deep Agent even color-coded the branches, green for fundamentals, blue for new tech, red for ongoing challenges, and purple for learning resources. Then it uploaded the finished mind map to a preview link hosted by Abacus AI, and the user instantly got access to their personalized AI study map, no extra setup needed. It handled office tasks just as smoothly. When someone wanted a weekly task summary pulled from Notion and posted into Slack, Deep Agent got to work. It grabbed the last seven days of to-dos, organized them by status like completed or in progress, and built a clean, easy-to-read Slack message with bold titles and emoji markers, green check marks for done, red X's for blocker. When Slack initially rejected the message due to missing permissions, Deep Agent figured out what was wrong, fixed the access issue automatically, and sent the message again. It landed in a casual Slack channel called Water Cooler, just as requested. And the whole process, from grabbing the data to formatting and sending it, was done in less than two seconds. The Salesforce job got even nerdier. The request was for weekly performance per rep, and the agent built four SOQL queries in a single composite API call. Total calls, closed deals, revenue in dollars, and conversion ratio. It then combined the results into a pandas-style data frame in memory, calculated mean and median benchmarks, highlighted reps above 110% quota with inline green badges, flagged reps below 70% in orange, and wrote the whole thing as GitHub-flavored markdown, so it renders perfectly in Slack, Teams, or an email client that supports HTML. All right, that digest also included a miniature ASCI bar chart of week-over-week -week pipeline movement because sometimes a tiny graphic beats 100 words of text. Then there was the Jira dashboard task. The user wanted a summary of all the issues they had reported over the past three sprints, which in their team schedule meant about nine weeks of work. So Deep Agent jumped in and pulled up to 500 of their most recent tasks using Jira's built-in filters. 
It looked at how much effort each task would take based on story points and checked labels to see which tasks were tied to customer problems or bigger priority. Then instead of just listing the tasks, it grouped them into three categories, quick wins, bigger strategic projects, and less urgent background work. To make things easier to understand at a glance, it turned all of that into a simple visual, a bubble chart where the size of each bubble shows the workload and the color shows how important the task is. The whole thing was neatly packed into a lightweight web file that loads instantly, even if you host it on a basic site. Throughout all these examples, the agent's discovery engine kept expanding. Every time it touched a new MCP server, it parsed the OpenAPI JSON, stored the route list, noted required headers and body shapes, and cached human-friendly explanations. So far, it has swallowed Twitter, Notion, Slack, Salesforce, Jira, Trello, HubSpot, and a handful of obscure academic APIs like Archive and PubMed. The knowledge graph already holds over 200 endpoint families. Each one includes sample inputs, example responses, and confidence ratings that tell the agent how likely a call will succeed under default usage quotas. That means you can now ask for a cross-platform marketing blast, post to Twitter, schedule a LinkedIn update, push a video script into YouTube Studio, grab a thumbnail from Dolly3, and email the approval chain and the agent choreographs the whole flow the first time it hears it. Security is handled with real care. Credential blocks remain in volatile storage, encrypted with session unique AES keys. Nothing hits persistent disk unless you specifically toggle save credentials. The handshake uses mutual TLS where available and for OAuth flows, the agent walks the authorization URL, grabs the code, exchanges for a token, then sets a 30 minute expiry timer. If you forget to revoke your token, the agent does it for you once the task ends. That level of hygiene matters because the price point is low. $10 a month for chat LM teams gives you the same backend that Abacus AI's enterprise clients pay six figures for, just throttled to five concurrent tasks and one million tokens. Technical folks keep asking whether Deep Agent is a closed black box or if you can peek inside. Abacus shipped an internal thoughts toggle that shows a trimmed log. You see which keywords it searched, which MCP endpoints it selected, the reasoning behind each API call, and any retry logic. You don't get raw model weights, but you get enough breadcrumbs to audit decisions, which means Deep Agent can satisfy most corporate compliance teams. During the Twitter session, you could follow lines like analyzing sarcasm frequency equals 9%, adjusting temperature to 0.75, and limiting emoji density to one every 40 characters, which is as close to model interpretability as you're going to get without diving into the transformer itself. Users worried about compute costs can chill. A single task spins up a lightweight container on Abacus's cluster, and because the agent offloads heavy processing to the remote APIs, think Salesforce aggregations or Jira searches. The container mainly handles orchestration and data wrangling. Average memory footprint stays under 40% of AB CPU, and tasks rarely exceed 30 seconds. Even the mind map HTML export uses an in-container node process that terminates immediately once the file is written. The kicker is the speed of iteration. Abacus pushed these discovery features overnight, less than a day before that demo video went live, and they immediately announced a $2,500 bounty for whatever wild thing the community builds next. Someone already wired Deep Agent into a Raspberry Pi home lab running Home Assistant. The agent discovered the REST Assist endpoint, learned the JSON schema for turning on lights, and built a voice command workflow in under two minutes. Another team used the agent to pull USDA crop data, merge it with NOAA weather APIs, and predict soybean yield, all without opening a single IDE. Now, traditional fixed tool assistants simply can't keep up. They'd need developers to add every new integration manually, whereas Deep Agent just teaches itself. That self-teaching loop feels a little unsettling, sure, but in practical terms, it means a lone freelancer can now automate the kind of multi-stack workflows that used to demand a full DevOps squad. Tweets that pass for Bindu Ready, interactive mind maps that read like an AI textbook, Slack digests that hit managers' inboxes before Monday stand-up, CRM reports that slice quota data every which way, Sprint dashboards drawn straight from Jira, 
all produced by a $10 agent that keeps learning every time you press enter. That's the reality rolling out right now. Dive in, hand it something ambitious, and watch it grab the right tools in real time. Thanks for hanging out. Drop a comment if you're ready to test Deep Agent yourself. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one.